Hi guys, so Halloween is only a week away, which means that this is going to be our last week of Halloween DIYs. But it's going to be super fun because we're all doing last minute, really easy costume ideas. So if you've procrastinated on putting a costume together, but you have some parties to go to this weekend, just stay tuned all week and I'm sure that you guys are going to get some great ideas. So my DIY for today is a beauty queen costume, as well as a few variations on the theme. So the key part to this costume is the sash, and to make a basic sash you're going to need some wide ribbon. You can get a roll of wide ribbon at the craft store, and we're not going to be using the whole thing, so you can always just save the rest for Christmas. And if you can, try to get unwired ribbon, but if wired ribbon is the only option available for the color that you want to get, that can work as well. So drape the ribbon over your shoulder and cut off a piece that fits you as a sash. Then grab some iron Turn on letters and start cutting out whatever phrase you want to write. I decided to keep it simple and go with Miss America. However, make sure to check the phrase to see if you have too many duplicate letters because then you might have to buy two packs of the iron on letters and I had to do that for the other two sashes that I'm going to make. So fold your ribbon in half and then start placing the letters a few inches out from your fold mark. Once they're all lined up, use an iron to iron them in place. The instructions will vary depending on what kind of letters you buy, so just follow the directions on the back of your package. And then, once they're all on there securely, you could add some embellishments. I think rhinestones would look really cool, and a sequined border would be awesome, but that would take forever to sew on, and this is supposed to be a last minute costume, so I'm just going to leave mine plain. So now drape it over your shoulder again, and use safety pins to pin the ends together so that it sits on your body comfortably. And then use white thread to just sew a line where the ribbons meet, remove the safety pin, and then trim down the excess ribbon. And now you have this quick, simple sash that literally took about 20 minutes to make. So to make the whole costume, just put on a sparkly dress, drape the sash over your shoulder, and then put on a tiara. I got my tiara online, but if you don't have one, Jamie over on Do It Girl showed us how to make our own tiaras the other week, so I will link that video right down below. And then that's the whole costume. Plus, if you end up at a party where nobody's really dressed up. You can always take off the crown and the sash and then you'll blend right in. I may have gotten that idea from that episode of Sister Sister where the parents go to a Halloween party and it turns out it's not a costume party and Ray is in that bunny suit and Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, moving on. So you can also do some punny variations on the costume. For example, I made another version, which is misunderstood. For this one, just make the sash out of black ribbon and white letters, and then sew on some spikes and add some safety pins to give it kind of an emo punk vibe. And then just dig out some old Hot Topic clothes from 2005 and pile on that raccoon eyeliner. If you really want to go all out, you can even carry around a cutout of an old MySpace profile. And now you look just like Tawny from that musical episode of Even Stevens. Again, nobody knows what I'm talking about, but I am so up on my early 2000s references today. So finally, for one more variation, grab some red ribbon and yellow letters and spell out Miss Independent. This is a fun take on a Rosie the Riveter costume, so just put your hair up in a red bandana, put on a blue shirt or a blue dress, and then you are dressed up as one of the coolest feminist icons. So I hope you guys liked these last minute costume ideas, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, or do you have any other punny variations that you could do with the Miss dot 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 theme. Thank you guys so much for watching HGTV Handmade, and stay tuned all week long for even more last minute costume ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye everyone!